let's learn how to convert a JPEG to a PDF for print in Photoshop. First things first, open up the JPEG in Photoshop, locate your image, right click, open with Photoshop. It's a good idea to preserve the original JPEG so you can make changes to another version of the JPEG. So go to File, save a copy, and you can create a copy of this JPEG to return to at any time. There are two things we need to check before we convert to PDF. The first is the resolution of the photo. Go to Image, Image Size. Now you wanna have your resolution, pixels per inch, as close to 300 as possible. The good thing is most smartphone images now shoot in higher resolutions, 300, sometimes even more. So if your resolution is already 300, check in inches, centimeters, or millimeters, the size of the image, and that is then the size you'll be able to print a high quality photo at. Naturally, you can adjust these dimensions, but remember, if you're going to go larger, you're going to decrease the resolution of the photo. Now, if your resolution isn't 300, there is a trick you can use. So I'm gonna open a 72 DPI version of this image, located in my images folder, press open. So this is the same image saved at 72 DPI. So if I go to image, image size. Now you'll see with this image, the pixels are the same but the physical size of the document is much greater because the resolution is lower. So if you open up your JPEG and your resolution is 72 and you want it to get to 300, what you can do is turn off resample and set your resolution to 300. Now, as you can see, what this do is this is going to decrease the size of the document you can print. So you can get a print quality resolution, but you're not going to be able to print it at a larger size. The size is going to be smaller. If you leave resample on and try to go to the desired size, you're going to get a bad quality image. So you can increase resolution to 300, but you are going to decrease the physical size that you can print the file at. And there's nothing you can do about that. That's the constraints you have to work in. So bear that in mind if you are working with a 72 DPI image. If you want a low quality print, you can get away with 150, but try your best to get to 300 because this is the industry standard for printing resolution. So let's return to my original image. We've checked the resolution. Now let's check the color profile. So by standard, a JPEG should be in RGB color mode. So for print purposes, let's convert this to CMYK. Go to Edit, Convert to Profile. In Destination Space, set Working CMYK US Web Coated Swap V2. This is a decent catch-all standard to use if you don't have specific settings from the printer. If the printer you're using has given you specific settings, you should switch to those. But if you don't have that information, just use Working CMYK US Web Coated Swap. V2. Leave your engine as Adobe ACE, switch your intent to relative color metric, and then turn on use black point compensation. This will try to match the dark colors in your image as close to a print quality as possible, and also turn on the dither. Dither will give you a more seamless transition between colors fading into each other. You don't have to worry about flattening image because we are working with a flat JPEG. So from there, simply click OK, and now you've converted the file to a CMYK color mode. So now let's save for PDF, come to File, Save As, select your destination folder, so I'm gonna put mine in the images. Under Format, select Photoshop PDF. Make sure you embed the color profile, the US web coded that we selected before. Set the name of your PDF, so I'll leave it as the name of the JPEG, .pdf. Click Save, press OK. You'll be given the standard high quality print option, so switch that to PDFX 1A 2001. This is a good ISO industry standard to save your PDF as. You can leave off embed page thumbnails and optimize for fast web preview because this is just one page. We already know our image is 300 pixels per inch, so the compression is fine. You can set your image quality to maximum. Under output, by selecting the PDFX 2001, it will convert the destination to US web coded swap version two, so that's absolutely fine. And you can leave security and summary as they are. So once you're happy, press save PDF. Lastly, I just want to show you the difference between the PDF I prepared and if you just use the high quality print default options. So here is the image that I prepared. Here's the PDF set for print. You've got a document size of 12.5 meg and the color profile is looking decent. When you use the default options that will leave things on like preserve editing capabilities, your document size will be much bigger. And as you can see, the color profile is not as well matched as when you use the PDF 2001 1A option. You can see the difference between the two here. So that's just something to bear in mind. That's why I use those specific settings and why I set the CMYK as US web coated swap version two 
so that you're giving the printer more specific color profiles to work with. And there you have it. That's how to turn a JPEG into a PDF for print in Photoshop. It's not going to be perfect converting JPEG to PDF converting RGB to CMYK, you're never going to get the color profiles spot on, but using those options, you should get something that is of a very high print quality while keeping the file size sustainable. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.